Okay, <clears throat> this is my first ever video of teaching. Uh, welcome to um, your first PGCSE class. We're gonna we're gonna focus today on uh, the structure and the function of the blood vessels. Okay, so I've drawn some lovely drawings on here. Uh, first of all, we're gonna have a look at the structure. Okay, um, the three drawings I've done here are like sort of a cutout of um, the different blood vessels. So this first one, we've uh, we've got the artery, we've got the vein, and we've got the capillaries. So that if we have a look at the structure of each of these, we can then sort of start to find out a little bit more about the function. Uh, so artery, veins, and capillaries. Right, first of all, with the artery. The artery is... Um, the blood vessels that, that they take the oxygenated blood away from the heart. Okay, now they're going to be under a lot of pressure. Okay, so the heart's just contracted, it's pumped all that blood out of the, the, the heart, and you've now got these things which are carrying that blood to the muscles, for example, or to the body's tissues all around the body that needs it. Now, in uh, the, the structure of this particular artery is that it's it's got a it's got a very muscular it's a, it's a very muscular wall okay that it has but it's also very so it's very muscular and it's also very flexible okay it's got something in it called elastin okay so um, it, it allows for a lot of movement to occur so it can expand and it can also sort of get smaller as well Okay, so the main structure for the artery to remember is that it's got a, um, a muscular and a flexible wall. Um, the lumen generally, this, is, this here is the, the space that the blood flows through. This is called the lumen. Okay, L-U-M-E-N. Okay, it's fair, it's, it can vary in size, but generally it's quite small. But the blood, when the blood flows through it, it sort of just expands the walls. The veins, okay, these are the, 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 the vessels that carry uh, deoxygenated blood back to the heart, okay? So uh, the blood pressure by this point in the veins is a, little bit, is a little bit lower because you can imagine the blood's rushed out of the heart, gone to the muscles, it's then sort of been distributed to all the muscles and the tissues in the body, and then now it has to come back to the heart, so there's less pressure, it's slowed down by that point. So that means that now with these ones, one big thing that it's got is one, the lumen, is a lot larger. Um, the walls are generally th uh, thinner. Okay, so they've got a thinner wall compared to these these walls. Okay, so the wall the wall th the thickness of the artery is, is all of that. The wall thickness of the vein is just something like that. Um, these walls are less, so they're less elastic. So these well, the walls are made out of more more of a fibrous. Sort of makeup. Um, a big thing about um, veins as well is that they have valves. So you can imagine uh, when the, the blood's coming back up the legs, okay, the blood flow is coming up, it goes through, but it's got to fight against gravity. So if it doesn't have these valves, then you'll get a backflow of blood. So what happens there is as soon as soon as the blood goes through, these valves, the backflow forces these valves to close. And then you don't get any backflow of blood. Okay, that's how the blood keeps moving up and goes back up towards the heart. All right. You finally you have the capillaries. And the capillaries are generally you'll find uh, that they they are between they link the arteries and the veins. So the artery goes to the, the muscle. Uh, you've got the capillaries, and then the vein takes it back up towards the vein takes it back up towards the the heart. Now the structure of the capillaries is such that diffusion can occur. So it needs to be, the wall cells need to be very, very thin. So they're going to be one cell thick. One cell thick. And that allows for um, oxygen to be given to the muscles and carbon dioxide to be returned. And then taken back to the heart by the veins. Sweet. <laughs> 